Welcome back to another video, everyone. Uh, in the last video, you saw us completely rip apart Dale's engine, uh, which is still in disrepair. We're still waiting on the parts to come in, but that's okay because before the cold weather comes in, the goal of this video is to get Gina's bus painted. She's been sanding over the last few weeks, doing an amazing job at that. We've got all the stuff primed and ready to go. So there's a little bit more sanding we need to do. We need to tape off the entire bus, and then this guy's gonna get painted. Gina! Michael! I was just telling everyone about how we're gonna paint your bus in this video. Very excited. I can't wait. It'll be nice to see something other than yellow. What do you mean? I like the yellow. It's bus yellow. Yeah, I'm over it. <laughs> You're over <laughs> I'm over it. Let's just get it painted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, what we have to do is uh, sand up this top section, tape off the windows, tape off the windshield, you know, get it all prepped and ready for paint. And then we get to paint it. Are you a little, well, I'm just not sure I'm excited about the color, you know? I like it. It's plain. I blend in. No one will notice me. That's, that's the goal. All right. We're going to paint Gina's bus the, uh, the unnoticed, plain and normal color. Maybe you can guess what it is, but by the end of the video, you'll know. You might even know from the thumbnail. I didn't take it yet, so I have no clue. <laughs> hey, Dale, I know you don't want to be bothered. But uh, I just told everyone that we're going to be painting Gina's bus in this video, which means you're probably going to be doing stuff in the background on your bus. Yeah, so what's your point? Oh, I was just checking up on what you're working on. Dale's been working on his bus. Obviously, a ton of wood has been put in. He's almost got his entire ceiling in. Uh, I ran the puck lights for him the other day while he's been putting in the ceiling just to help him just keep moving forward because Dale honestly is, he's not a slacker. He calls himself a slacker. He's not a slacker. Don't let him tell you that. He's hes a hard worker. Look at all the work he did. But what Dale's doing right now is he's running some wires that he's now rerunning because... There was a little bit of a miscommunication from my end of what he actually needed to do. Uh, Dale, we need two wires, not one. Sorry, Dale. But Dale's running some other electrical wires behind the walls so that we can get this bus moving forward. But you can really tell, Dale's pretty close to start getting the entire thing sheeted and then we can start doing some cabinet installs and some future stuff. But like I said, this video is about us helping Gina paint her bus. So we're gonna get sanding, going, moving, and getting this thing done. Have a great day. Have a great day. Dale, you're right next door, we'll see you. Not if I can help. And I started doing some of the sand on the upper sections that Gina, Gina, we're going to admit it on camera. She, you just don't like heights. Not at all. <laughs> so I'm doing all the upper sections for her on her bus. Uh, and I got some of the Bondo on here and some of the other spots that are just damaged. She has some more major damage in just the body panels. It's not structural, but there's some more major damage that we're just going to kind of overlook. It's uh, it's a little bit too beyond what... There was a learning curve in learning to drive it, all right? Yeah, so we're going to fix the... I, I think I said it on a previous video. Gina, I'll fix things that happened on the bus before you bought it, but anything that you did to the bus, we're just going to just gonna let go. I've accepted that. It is what it is. <laughs> Once it's painted, it'll blend right. It'll be fine. It will. It's not that bad. Uh, but all the energy, you know, all the major spots in terms of holes, uh, all these spots on the side that she's now grinded out and she's gonna be sandy now, uh, where the mirrors used to be, we're gonna weld these all shut. So we're gonna do, you know, some body work. We're just not gonna make it like. No, it's it's a 2002 bus. Like, yeah. It's not worth, you know, banging out everything. We're not doing a $10,000 paint job. No. Let's be realistic in life here. Yeah. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start getting the welder out and I gotta start welding up all these holes and stuff just to get rid of them. Uh, Gina's gonna start sanding ahead of me to start keeping all those nice and clean for the clean metal so I can weld. We're just gonna tag team this and just keep moving. So. Get it done. By tomorrow night, there will be paint. Tomorrow night, there will be paint. That's what she thinks. Hey. Just kidding. <laughs> We got all the spots on the entire bus that we needed to weld or put Bondo on completely done. So the only thing left 
is what Gina's doing right now, and I'm gonna join her, is sand the entire bus. Uh, I just kinda go over it, check all the spots, make sure it's smooth, cause I wanna get it all sanded, then we can dust it off, maybe we'll take the power washer, Dale suggested using the power washer, and then we can tape it tonight, so that tomorrow morning we'll be ready to go to just kind of get it all sprayed off. Hey Dale, you got an update? No. Why are you still filming? Get back there. I thought you were sanding. I am sanding. Well, get, get with it. Gina and I got most of the bus completely sanded and at this point it's like tag team. Rachel came home from work. Dale's coming on over to help us tape and we are just trying to get the whole thing masked off so that then tomorrow morning we can just start off with going with primer and then straight through. Tomorrow's temperature is supposed to be good. We're not supposed to have any wind. So we're really hoping that tomorrow is going to be paint day and it's all going to work out great. I know Gina's happy that everything is all nice and smooth now and just kind of fixed up. It's not going to be, you know, the most perfect thing in the entire world, but it's going to be a lot better than it was. And it's also going to be Gina's! No more yellow bus! team rallied together and we've got probably 50% of the bus taped off at this point. Pretty much Gina was asking, what do we tape off? And I told her anything you don't want the color that you're gonna be painting the bus. So if you don't want it that color, tape it. We got a bit more to do on the back and then we have to tape off the panel and all the windows on this side. Uh, tomorrow morning, we're gonna try to get up early, finish off the taping. Um, it's starting to get a little too cold and they're starting to get some dew, which means the tape's not gonna stick at this point. Pretty much, it's just gonna be spraying the whole thing down and getting it going. Last day that we're gonna be looking at it like this. The sun is up, and it's, it's getting warmer. The, the first thing I'm gonna do is quickly grab the paint out of the shed because I stupidly left it outside last night. It's not room temperature, it's not up to temperature. So I gotta grab the paint, bring it inside, put it next to the fire and just let it kinda warm up for over the next like hour or two before we start painting. And while the temperature's coming up, it's about 40 degrees outside, we're gonna wait for it to get to about 55 in about an hour, hour and a half, and then we'll get this thing painted. I can't wait. How many, how many days or years in the making is this? Like over two years. <laughs> <laughs> and while they're doing that, I'm going to be planting some wood over here and try to get the walls up in the bus so that tomorrow we can get back on my bus for a little while. majority of the bus taped off at this point and I was just testing out this sprayer. Uh, Gina picked up this sprayer I think at Harbor Freight um, but we were just testing this guy out to see how it's gonna do. Uh, just trying to figure out a bit of the spray pattern run some mineral spirits through it. Uh, just wanted to make sure it was clean. Now what we're trying to do is figure out um, exactly how much we're gonna thin this paint with. Gina went to Home Depot, picked up some metal Rust-Oleum, um, nothing fancy. She just wanted something that was gonna go on the bus, uh, was gonna make it change colors and just kind of give it a new coat. So we're gonna prime it and then we're gonna paint it with this guy right here. So we're just gonna spend some time figuring out the measurements, testing out the spray gun on some test pieces of wood or something just to at least see how it's gonna spray. And then we can get priming because almost 90% of the bus now is uh, taped off. Gina, I was just saying how we're just about to start mixing the primer and getting it all ready in the spray gun. No pressure, because I'm not done taping. No, that's all right. All you got to do is that these four windows, and then we're pretty much good to go. We're going to get done today, right? That's my plan. I liked your plan. Yeah, my plan it's is get done today. Plan. We have to get this bus painted today, because once this bus is painted, we got to get Dale's engine back together. We got some of the parts back in. The new pulleys came in. Uh, we got a water pump, but it was the wrong water pump. We had to send it back. We're hoping that these parts are going to come in pretty quick. It seems like they are. They, they're pretty available in the local, uh, local uh, Napa, so... We're gonna grab them. It's time to get mixing and uh, figuring out how the spray gun's gonna actually end up working out.
though it's only primer, but Gina's bus is already looking completely different. And Gina is like 50% happy. I'm very happy. <laughs> Much more than 50%. 100% 100 happy. Yes. But right before, uh, we were about 90% done with the priming. We didn't do right here where the solar panel is. Uh, I got to get up here with Dale, and we're going to take the hinges off and lower the panel so we can prime this last spot right here. And then once we do that, pretty much the entire bus is done. And then we just got to wait to switch over to our final paint, which is going to be white. Uh, Gina selected that she's going to go with white paint and then eventually do some form of a design or reintegrate the black stripes on the side. Uh, but it's going to be just a nice white gloss on top of the primer. You spend days and weeks sanding and prepping and bondoing and welding. And then, uh, you know, one day comes around and the whole thing just turns white. So at this point, we've got our primer on almost the entire bus. And now we get to put our gloss on. So we're going to get that thing all filled up. Uh, the primer we had to thin out with some mineral spirits the actual paint we're going to be thinning out with some acetone uh, just a little bit because it calls for i think it was like a seven percent for the primer and then the paint it says as needed but up to a quart and a half per gallon so we're gonna have to mess with it a little bit and figure out exactly how we want it to spray to make sure that it's going to spray right before we start going on the whole bus i know we haven't really gotten much of emotion or conversation from gina yet but i'm pretty sure that going from what it looked like before till now, it is a world of difference. I'm just excited to see this gloss on there and then see what it's gonna look like then. Gina, we've got one coat. I'm very excited. One coat. It looks amazing. I can't wait. And then when like the mirrors are back on, they're black, the grill is black, and the bumpers are black, it's just gonna be really great. I'm very excited. So many weeks of prep work and it's finally there. Gina is officially the uh, poster child of, hey, it takes about three weeks to sand and paint and prep and spondo and weld and- It's no joke, man. It's yeah. no joke. It takes a while to get the bus prepped. But then, literally, in less than like two, three hours, the thing just completely changes. This is a brand new bus! It's a lot more fun in a time lapse, I'll tell you that. <laughs> yeah, you'd rather watch this on YouTube than actually do it in person. 100%. <laughs> third coat's been sitting for... It's third coat. No, this is the second coat. We're going to be putting on the third coat. It's been sitting for a little bit. Um, the temperature, I know, is going to start dropping in the next few hours. So we're going to try to get this third coat on real quick, uh, let it kind of dry throughout the rest of the night. And then uh, by tomorrow, this should be nice and, you know, cured hard. The day's getting old. Dale's waiting with the paint. So we're going to get painting this third coat. Yeah, see what happens. It's good today. Can't guarantee what it'll look like tomorrow. Yeah. Gina's bus is officially painted. We've got a full uh, coat of primer and then two coats of final on there. So it is pretty much done. At this point, the paint is starting to dry. It's gonna start getting cold. The sun's starting to go down. So before the paint dries, I wanna pull off all of the tape and paper. Cause what I found in the past, this might just be me. I don't know if anyone else has experienced this, uh, but when the paint dries and some of these edges, they just don't rip really cleanly. Cause the paint sometimes dries over the, the, the painter's tape. And we don't wanna have any risk of trying to have to touch up stuff later. Uh, so we're gonna start ripping all this off. Get a pretty good look at what this bus is gonna look like, you know, without the lights, without the bumpers, but just a white bus. I know Gina will agree with me here, but it took about two days, maybe a day and a half, to tape off and sand everything. And uh, 
it takes like two seconds to pull it all off. But look at that. Hey, Gina. Yes, Michael. So your bus, it's officially painted. I mean, there's some touch up that needs to be done. There's some odds and ends, but like look at it. two years in the making. Finally, it's so nice. I really am grateful. Thank you, both of you. I'm so grateful. I'm so excited it's done. <laughs> it's a, it really does look like a totally different bus. It does, I love yeah. it. But if you don't remember Gina's bus from before, like mm -hmm. before we even sanded it, this thing was like three different colors of yellow, had a bunch of holes and dents and water leaks and everything. Only some of them were my fault. That's true, yeah, not all of them were Gina's fault. Uh, but over the last few weeks, we've painted the roof with silicone paint, got rid of all the leaks. Uh, we've sanded the sides and now we have it painted. So Gina's bus has pretty much got an almost an entire exterior makeover at this point. One of the next things that we're gonna be doing on this is she bought all new LED lights for the outside. So we're gonna be switching out all those so that they all work. Well, and with Gina's bus painted, it's about time that we go find something for dinner. I know Gina just ran to the store to go see if she can't get some bread and stuff. Uh, I don't know what she's planning on making, but she's planning on making something. So thank you, Gina, for that. Gina's bus is painted. And honestly, man, that black white contrast, she wasn't too sure of how, if she was gonna like it, if she was gonna paint these rub guards or not. Uh, I don't think she's going to at this point. I think she really likes the way that this looks. Gina's bus is painted. We got it done before winter and before the cold temperatures came in. And in the next video, we're gonna be hopping back on Dale's bus, getting the inside of his done, because Dale's only got about two weeks till he heads out. So we have a ton of stuff to get going on his rig. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you enjoyed seeing Gina's bus get painted. And in the next one, like I said, we're gonna be getting on Dale's. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.